we've been very fortunate to be connected with organizations that have supported Rebecca in terms of having her story told. One of the areas that Rebecca's story is beginning to influence is the is the um, policy around um, uh, power of attorney and guardianship. For individuals who are um, have needs like Rebecca who cannot speak, oftentimes they they cannot sign a power of attorney and presently the only thing that's available to them is guardianship where someone else um, would take over full decision-making powers for them. Presently in Ontario the only options uh, for individuals like Rebecca would be full guardianship where someone um, else would make full uh, decisions uh, for her as an adult. Someone who could speak and make decisions on their own could sign a power of attorney. Uh, but the difficulty with guardianship is uh, manyfold. One is that um, in many ways you lose your rights as a citizen uh, and other people could make full decisions for you without um, any kind of consultation with you. So what Rebecca is helping in her story to, uh, through organizations, um, uh, even the, like the Canadian, Associ Canadian Association for Community Living, are trying to find uh, a way of uh, having supported decision making uh, become uh, a policy, uh, be, be entrenched in policy so that uh, even if you couldn't speak, it would, it, you would be supported in um, making decisions about your own life um, and what is best for you.